The Cincinnati Bengals are committed to protecting Joe Burrow. A few weeks ago, the Bengals signed former Cowboys offensive tackle Lael Collins to a three-year deal for $30 million. Collins has been in the league since 2015 and was an undrafted free agent signed by the Cowboys. The Cowboys released Collins after they failed to find a trade partner for the LSU product. In 2019, uh, Collins signed a five-year deal, $50 million extension with the Cowboys. From 2017 until 2019, he started 47 of 48 games with the Cowboys and was one of their top offensive linemen. However, in 2020, he missed the whole season because of hip surgery. Last season, he missed five games for violating the NFL's substance abuse policy. In 2021, the Bengals made the Super Bowl despite having one of the worst offensive lines in the league. Joe Burrow was sacked 70 times last season, but with the addition of Collins, he'll be protected a lot more for the 2022 sink season. The Bengals, after signing Lael Collins, they also signed Patriots center Ted Karras to a three-year deal and Buccaneers offensive guard Alex Kappa to a four-year deal. With the Buccaneers losing Kappa, they traded a fifth-round pick for Patriots offensive guard Shaq Mason. In other NFL news, the Green Bay Packers have given Aaron Rodgers a weapon to throw to. On Thursday, it was reported that the Green Bay Packers have signed former Bills, Rams, Chiefs, and Ravens wide receiver Sammy Watkins to a one-year deal that is worth $4 million. Watkins has been in the league since 2014 and was, the Super, and was a Super Bowl champion with the Chiefs in the 2019-2020 season. In 2015, he had his best season with 1,047 receiving yards and nine touchdowns with the Bills. Last season with the Ravens, he had 27 receptions for 394 yards and one touchdown. The Packers lost wide receiver Devontae Adams and Marquez Val-Scantling recently. Bringing in Sammy Watkins was a good sign, and he'll get another chance to prove that he can be a number one receiver in the NFL.